The Shuttle Chef works like a slow cooker. Comes in two sizes. This is the single, four and a half litre saucepan, an outer. And then we have a six litre outer that has two three litre saucepans. We're going to use the two three litre containers for cooking the curry today. So as I start to heat that saucepan up, simply add a little bit of oil. And basically the ingredients I'm going to include today, I've got chicken strips cut up, beans, pumpkin, a bit of basil, a bit of coriander and coconut cream and that's really it. I'm using two tablespoons of curry paste if you like a really hot curry, add a third one. If you don't like it so hot, take one out. Now you just want to heat that a little bit to get the aromas, the aromatic fluids coming out of the paste going. And you'll smell that and then the chicken and pumpkin can go in for a bit of stir around. It's not like beef that you have to really seal the meat. Chicken you just want to get it coated with that curry. I've added about 750 grams of chicken but um, once again it's more or less according to how many you're cooking for. This will do three to four people. Just going to add the pumpkin to it and that can just all stir around together. Now the pumpkin will need, need a little bit longer cooking than the beans um, but basically the initial time heating on the stove is when the vegetables are going to do the majority of their cooking. So with this one where I've got the pumpkin cut up quite small, once I've heated everything and brought it to the boil, it's about five minutes simmering time on the stove. That's all it needs. Then it will go into the outer and the meal is going to be ready in about an hour, but you know, you could leave this curry going all day and 10 hours later it would still be well over your 60 degrees food safety temperature and ready to eat when you sit down. Now once you've got your curry well and truly coating around your chicken and your pumpkin. A little bit of fish sauce is what gives the real Thai flavour. About two tablespoons I'm putting in. And one teaspoon of sugar, which just seems to bring out all the other flavours. Okay, now I can add the curry cream into there the coconut cream. This has come to the boil and I've turned it right down because you don't want the chicken boiling too fast or it's going to toughen it. I'm now adding the beans, the basil and this coriander. I'm just going to stir that in. Now that only has to simmer for five minutes in this separate saucepan, I've got two cups of washed rice and three cups of water. Once it comes to the boil, I'm going to put the lid on and it only boils for one minute and that's quite enough. Rice is the only one that you have to keep a, a bit of an eye on the time. If you boil it too long, it can lose too much water and you're going to have dry rice or if you don't cook it enough, obviously it hasn't, um, the heat hasn't got in. But um, providing you just cook it for around the minute, You've got rice as good as any rice cooker is ever going to do. Now that's been simmering for its minute. The chicken and curry, it's only going to simmer for five minutes. This is going to take about the same time. But if the chicken cooks longer, it really doesn't matter. It just means you're using a bit more energy, but it's not going to wreck it. That can now stay in there. Next step, we'll be eating. It's weird to get that tip, Baruti. That's a bit ordinary. It's not like old roadkill here. Oh, oh, oh God, mate, compared to roadkill, this is swish. Hey, talking about swish, are you hungry? You bet. Come and get it, boys. All oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good on you, Lindy. Oh, wow. Gee, mate, this beats waiting for you to catch a fish all day long. <laughs> Why do you always bring up fish? Because you never catch any gill. Because you don't get fish with Thai chicken curry. Oh, God <laughs> damn good, Lindy. This is beautiful. Not bad for on the road.